honestly look like the human embodiment of an acid trip right now, but honestly, with the subject of this video, it might be appropriate. I've never seen an episode of Riverdale, but I've seen enough on Twitter to know that I don't need to see an episode, but yet here we are. So, what's the truth? I don't know. I figured it'd be fun to watch the highest rated episode and the lowest rated episode of this series without any context. I don't know anything about this show. I know there's a Betty. I think there's a Veronica. Maybe an Archie. I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in. I don't know, that's that's the limit of my knowledge. But before we get into the video, I do wanna say a huge thank you to our sponsor today, Function of Beauty. I've been working with Function of Beauty since February. I absolutely adore this company. And they have helped me so much with my hair and knowing what I need to do to take care of it. And I've seen such a huge difference. It's grown so much since February and also those like stupid little flyaways that I always get are gone. My oily scalp is better. In case you don't know what Function of Beauty is, let me give you the scoop real quick. Function of Beauty is the self-care line that contains no parabens, sulfates, GM GMOs, toxins, and it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. This is my shampoo conditioner for the month. I decided to go with the scent, shea, and vanilla, and honestly, it smells like a giant cupcake. Low key, kind of want to eat it in the shower, but obviously, that's not appropriate. But also Function of Beauty offers additional pampering tools such as a hair mask, a hair serum, and a leave-in treatment. I have been using the hair serum. I want to have glass skin and I want to have glass hair. And I feel like this little bad boy, she does it for me. And also, a little goes a long way. So it's a really nice like bang for your buck. And if I didn't prove yet how amazing this company is yet to you, sustainability is one of the core features of Function of Beauty, which is why it's so exciting for them and for me to sit here and say that they have now officially moved to 100% recyclable packaging plus all the new orders for shampoo conditioner etc will also be shipped in PCR bottles instead of the new virgin plastic that comes from fossil fuels so if you want to become part of the function of beauty family it is super easy to do so all you have to do is fill out a two-minute quiz outlining your hair type your hair goals and personalized preferences plus you get to choose the color and the fragrance of your bottles and you get to also customize the name on your bottle as well also check out look for the subscription service where you can get ongoing deliveries of your custom formula on the the delivery schedule of your choice. And I already got this all set up for you guys. All you have to do is follow the link down in my description box to get 20% off your order. Thank you again, Function of Beauty, for sponsoring this video. Ugh. And let's get into the mess that is Riverdale. The evils of Stonewall Prep had been vanquished, and life in oh. Riverdale more or less picked up where it had left off. That's great. So I'm, I'm coming in at a good spot. So no one was surprised when a third round of sinister videotapes was delivered to our doorsteps. Videotapes? Oh my god. Hannah Baker, we've upgraded. Your eyes. Is he singing? Okay. Oh no, is this one of the cursed musical episodes? Oh no. Oh no. What am I doing to myself? And down that hill. Oh, what's his name? KJ Appa? 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 Oh god. Bro, if I wanted to watch Glee, like, I would have turned that on. What do you need? Something to stimulate my brain as I plow through this pile of work that Betty's lined up for me. Oh. Where are we? One more thing. This isn't in the school, is it? This looks like the shady ass basement that the janitor takes the dead kids to. That's dark. I'm sorry, but you won't be allowed to do a number from Hedwig and the Angry Inch. It was on Broadway. If it's on Broadway, it's fine. It's okay, we can do Mamma Mia. Wasting your it celebrates identities. Who is genders, this kid? I feel like he's the character that the producers just put in to be like, see, we're woke, we're cool, and it's like, you're annoying. Go away. We're people, not numbers. We're Generation Z. We're Generation Z, and we're here to take over. Generation Z. Oh god, they're dancing. Oh no. Oh. Oh, they literally have numbers on their chest. I just realized that. Wow. Glee would have had like some ridiculous storyline with this and they would have had Artie on the wheelchair. <laughs> like on the desk, like rolling off doing a flip or something. Pick a different song or recuse yourself from the variety show and all your attendant duties. Effective immediately. Did he really think that that musical showstopper was gonna help his cause? Bruh. I already don't like him. I feel like he shoves gay kids in lockers or something. 
What is less trauma, more drama? Oh God. The Archies Barrage. What? Oh God. Haha. -ha. Bitch. Could you imagine like if this was your favorite show, right? And you had to wait a whole week for a new episode and this was the new episode? Oh my God, I would want a personal apology. And I'm not even sure what thesis is. Where are their parents? Are they like living together or something? Why are they eating dinner like they have a full mortgage and like kids sleeping? I know this seems a little last minute, but uh, I signed us up for the variety show to perform. As oh, this is the band? Does this band have a name? Hmm. The Archies. What, was the me, me, me's taken? What? Um, ciao. Anyway, so. That's not. Well, sorry. I'm the new Berlin Wall, baby. Now get your asses to the music room. Miss Bell, are you gonna do something about that? I was born on the other I was right. He's like the character they threw in to be like, we're woke, we're cool, we're with the kids. Tear me down. Oh my God, female drummer. Yes. Keller, you are off the variety show. Oh, how sweet. He waited till he finished his note. Can we um, please <laughs> order pizza from Little Cicero's? Ugh. Little Cicero's? Was Little Caesar's not available for copyright reasons? I feel like I'm watching like the Walmart version of RuPaul's Drag Race right now. Oh god, are we singing again? Bro. Again? I've got a sweet tooth. That's fine. I didn't want to hear it anyway. That's fine. Let's see. What happens if I don't listen and just watch? Is it as bad as it was listening? What? No applause? Every student at Riverdale High changed their variety show act to a number from Hedwig. What would you do then? Well, no, you're not supposed to tell him. You're supposed to just do it. Any student who performs a song from Hedwig will be barred from senior prom. Oh, God, not senior prom. As you like to say, Miss Blossom, toodles. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Got <he! laughs> This is just miserable. I thought this would be fun in some sort of like sadistic way. No, I'm miserable. I want to go. Like I'm home, but I want to go. What is their relationship dad, like? Working out at Are they together? I, I feel like just everyone's been together at some point or another in the show. Where are we? We look like we're in a sewer. I went to the mat for you with Mr. Honey and with all of this. Mr. Honey. Oh, honey, no, 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 no. There is only one honey teacher that is okay in my book. Criminal psych. Yeah, well, I would rather that than this dead end jughead. Oh, the jughead that was brained with a rock? I'm sorry. I guess death just changes a person. What? Inside, I'm hollowed out. Outside, the paper what? Oh, my God. First of all, he died? Oh, my God, we're talking to a ghost. Kinky. Oh god, we're angry. Oh god. Betty, run away! Oh my god. Betty. Betty. <laughs> I see why this is the lowest rated episode. This is garbage. This is just complete garbage. And I've, I watch like trashy reality TV shows. Like one of my favorite shows is Jersey Shore season two Miami, bitch. I am Miami, bitch. And even I'm saying this is garbage. Like I am in no position to talk about taste. Oh God. Oh, there's so much angst as the candles burn in the background. I really think he's in a sewer. Oh God, that was, that was. We love being a snake. How much spit do you think they got on each other doing that scene? Really, what was the point of that being a song? Principal Honey, I need to alert you to- I'm so mad that his name is Honey. No. 
Miss Honey deserves the only rights ever. Hi, sorry, I'm late. I wanted us to have fun. <laughs> when was the last time that happened? That time we ordered sea monkeys from the back of a comic book was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we peaked in the first grade. Yeah. Damn, that's rough. Look, just because Veronica and Jughead aren't here doesn't mean we can't rehearse. Oh, God. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna play a gnarly song for you, girl. This is Wonderwall. <laughs> All right, don't tell me, like, do they get together? Have they been together? Why did they have the most chemistry in this entire cast? Origin of love, the origin of love. Well, Literally, why do they have the most chemistry? Ooh, you were looking at me. Oh god. <laughs> it reminds me of the Mike Wazowski. <laughs> why does he have a random TV of like someone's house? In the sewer! He's literally a sewer rat. He let out a laugh, said split. That is not his voice. I refuse to believe that's him singing. Why is he breaking everything? Why are y'all destructive? <laughs> What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? And Osiris and the gods of the Nile. Did they day before? I feel it. I feel the tension, y'all. Oh, they did. Oh, we gonna? Yeah. Oh, oh no! Don't cheat on your other people. I mean, don't cheat, but like, I don't care. So the other two are annoying. Who the hell is calling me? Don't they know I'm watching Riverdale? The best piece of cinema of our time? Do they live together or something? I'm so confused. No, it's not. I shouldn't have been as ticked off as I was that you had faith in me. Oh my god, who are you gonna choose, girly? You have such great options. The sewer riot and the homophobic jerk. I don't even know if he's homophobic, I'm just assuming. Wait, are they married? Or something? Like, what is that photo right there? Bruh. This show is wild. Bob Sanson? Ew. Why is she there so late? Where is everyone's parents? Where are the legal guardians? I know in this kind of a show they don't exist, but like, damn. Just like my father, they got up and left. So me, you, Betty, and Chuckhead will all get to perform together after all. What even happens in the show? Wasn't it the first season like about a murder or something? What happened after that? Ew. Creepy. Y'all live that close to each other and she was late? Forgive me for I did. Oh god, not the hand on the window. The drama of it all. What's their ship name? What was it? Betty and Archie? Ew. Artie? Is that <laughs> Oh my god, everything comes back to me. <laughs> I am beyond honored to introduce, for the first time ever, the Archie! Okay, but I wanna see the other guy. I don't wanna see them. I don't wanna see the man in his club. I'm good. Why are you so sweaty already, bro? I know those lights are hot, but damn, you've been up there for 30 seconds. Why does she dress that way? She dresses like she's in her late 30s, she hates her job, and she's looking for a husband because she's that desperate and will marry literally the mailman. And Archie. And Betty. Ew. And Jughead. Ew. Literally, why? Who is filming that? Don't film this. Honestly, they're like good for the cast of Riverdale because they get to do this fucked up shit and they get paid for it. And they probably get a pretty penny too. So really, who's laughing now? Boiled alive was too late. Ew. Oh. Oh. Damn, Hansel and Gretel really grew up, huh? <laughs> Ew, get it away. What the fuck is this show? No, don't, don't put the title like you did something. You did nothing. We're, that was the biggest pile of baloney I've ever seen. That was awful. 